Meet the number one. Many rich and powerful people have envied him, wanting to be the one and only. Dream on all you power-hungry people. One will never surrender his position. When it comes to favorite coins, one's favorite is the penny. One loves pennies because each penny is worth one cent. And a hundred pennies equals one whole dollar. This is one's dot card. It has his favorite color red. And it only has one dot. Since there is only one dot, and that dot doesn't have a partner, one is among the ranks of the odd numbers. One can be a lonely number, you know. If you've ever been all alone, you know just what I mean. But if one comes and joins you, you won't be alone anymore. There'll be two of you. And that brings us to our next number, which you get by adding one and one, by the way. So let's meet the number two. Two represents pairs of things, like a pair of socks or gloves, when you can find them both, that is. Sometimes those things are alike, like twins. Sometimes they're opposites like boys and girls, or left and right. Since two does represent pairs of things, he is the first of many even numbers, the numbers that can pair up everything they have. With the even numbers, everyone has a partner, and no one is the odd man out. This is two's dot card. It has one pair of two bright orange dots. Remember, that's one pair of dots. Two dots per pair, and that makes a total of two dots. Two really likes it when children count by twos. He says it's much more efficient, meaning it goes a lot faster. And one, being the agreeable little number that he is, doesn't mind at all if you count by twos. Just remember, you have to count two objects at a time to count by twos. Let's count these pennies by twos together. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. How many pennies? Right, there are ten pennies. See how fast that went? Count the cookies by two. Ready? Two, four, six. There are six cookies. Count the buttons by two. Ready? Two, four, six, eight. There are eight buttons. Count the apples by two. Ready? Two, four. There are four apples. Count the shoes by two. Ready? Two. That was easy. People always say that two's company, but three's a crowd. Speaking of our bossy little number, let's meet the number three. Three is featured in many folk tales. Three guesses, three wishes, three little pigs, three bears, and three billy goats gruff. This is Three's dot card. There is one pair of bright yellow dots and one lonely little odd dot. That makes Three an odd number. As a matter of fact, Three is the first odd prime number and proud of it too. Now, if I add one more dot to these three, how many will I have? You got it. I'll have four dots. And that brings us to our next number. Meet the number four. There are a few things that four is well known for. There are four directions, north, south, east, and west. And there are four seasons in a year. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Oh, and the moon has four phases. Most animals have four legs. All the cute ones, anyway. And... If you happen to be down and out of luck, 
Just go looking for a four-leaf clover, and you're sure to have a wee bit of good luck. Here's Four's dot card with its four bright green dots. Do all the dots have partners? Yes, they do. So then, four is an even number. How many pairs does four have? Count them with me. One, two. Two pairs. Two dots per pair. Four dots. But if you add one more dot to these four, you will have five dots. And that brings us to our next number. Meet the number five. You've got five fingers on each hand and five toes on each foot. Counting by fives is extremely easy, almost as easy as counting by tens. Five has a favorite coin, too, made in his honor, of course. It's called the nickel, and how much do you think it's worth? Right, five cents. Excellent. Here's five's dot card. Does every dot have a partner? No, it doesn't, does it? There's this one little lonely odd dot. How many pairs of dots does five have? Did you say two pairs? If so, pat yourself on the back. He has two pairs and one odd dot, and altogether that makes five. So five is one of the odd numbers. Now, if I add one more dot to these five, how many dots will I have? Right, I'll have six, and that brings us to our next number. Meet the number six, and if you know six like I do, you know that six is practically perfect, just like Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. Actually, mathematicians say that six is the perfect number, because it's both the sum and the product of one, two, and three. Here's Six's dot card with six lovely light blue dots, and all of them have partners. How many pairs of dots does this dot card have? Did you say three pairs? Good for you. Three pairs, two dots per pair. That makes two, four, six dots. And that makes six an even number. Nobody gets left out with this number. Now, if I add one more dot, how many will I have? Right, I'll have seven. And seven is our next number. Get ready. Seven is quite the number indeed. Not only are there seven days in a week, but there are seven notes on a musical scale and seven wonders of the ancient world. Three and four claim that they're the lucky numbers, but I can assure you, and the other numbers will agree with me. In Seven's line of work, he's lucky to be standing here today. This number is a bit of a mystery, as you will soon find out. He's always lurking in the shadows, carrying out certain highly classified operations. What's he doing? Why, he's trying to find the secret identity of Agent X, of course. You may know this number best by his code name, 007. Agent 007 is famous worldwide. But don't tell anyone he's been here today. It'll be our little secret. Here's Seven's dot card. It has... How many pairs of dots does Seven have? Count them with me. One, two, three. Three pairs, two dots per pair. That makes six dots. Oh, but there's that one little lonely odd dot down here. So, one more makes seven. Well, it only makes sense that seven would be an odd number, since he is a bit of an oddball if I do say so myself. But not too loudly, of course. I definitely don't want to get on seven's bad side. After all, he can be very helpful when one needs to be saved from a potentially dangerous situation. Anyway, if I add one more dot to these seven and pair it up with that lonely odd dot, how many dots will I have? Perfect. I'll have eight dots, 
And that brings us to our next number. Meet the number eight. Eight's claim to mathematical fame is a bit hard to understand. The square of every odd number minus one is a product of eight. That probably doesn't make much sense to you, does it? Sorry, eight. Maybe in a few more years they'll get it. Eight's a bit of a geek which should be no surprise to you considering that intro I just gave him. Here's eight's dot card. Like all the other even numbers, all the dots have partners. How many pairs of dots does eight have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four pairs. Two dots per pair. Two, four, six, eight. That makes eight dots. And if I add one more dot to these eight, aw, it will be a lonely dot with no partner. Anyway, how many dots will there be then? Right, and that brings us to our next number. Meet the number nine. Many folk sayings involve nine. A stitch in time saves nine. Floating on cloud nine. And a cat has nine lives, to name a few. And you might be interested to know that nine has a few tricks up his sleeves that will really help you when you're out on an operation and you need to get it done quickly. Here's nine's dot card. Does every dot have a partner? Nope. There's one little lonely odd dot down there at the bottom. So that makes nine and... An odd number. How many pairs of dots does nine have? Count them with me. One, two, three, four. Four pairs of dots. Two, four, six, eight. And one more makes nine. Now, if I add one more dot to this, how many will I have? Right, I'll have ten. A most amazing number indeed. And this, my friends, is the great, the magnificent number 10. People have 10 fingers, which they shouldn't have to rely on when adding two numbers. One and five are not the only numbers with coins in their honor. Tens is the dime, which is worth... Right, it's worth 10 cents. And don't forget, there are 10 commandments that teach us how to live and love each other. I want to let you in on a little secret. Ten is a magical number. Whenever you have ten of anything, ten just says the magic word, numeros combini, and poof, they turn into a group of ten. One more thing you need to know about ten. He also has special powers, which mathematicians refer to as powers of ten. Here's 10's dot card. How many pairs of dots does 10 have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pairs of dots. Two dots per pair. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That makes a total of 10 dots. As wonderful as all this sounds, the other numbers would be nowhere without one of their greatest allies, Zero the Hero. Zero steps in and saves the numbers' places when one of them can't be present. They would be absolutely lost without him. And because of what he represents, he makes many of their operations run quickly and smoothly. Unfortunately, Zero was invisible as he represents a non-amount, like when you have no cookies left or no pennies in your piggy bank. The only way to see this number is with the written digit that represents him and looks a lot like the letter O. Well, I hope you've enjoyed meeting the numbers today. I know they've enjoyed being here, and they look forward to seeing you again. 
They're happy you've chosen to become their recruits so that they can train you to help them with their operations one day. One by one, they say their goodbyes and look forward to the day when you start your training with them in earnest. <laughs>